Imagine you're at a carnival, standing at a booth where you toss rings to win big prizes. You've got a big pile of rings, and you're feeling lucky. You toss all your rings at once, hoping to win the giant teddy bear. But oops, you miss, and all your rings are gone. Now, imagine you had a special gadget that could pull your rings back the moment it looked like they were gonna miss. He would save your rings and get another chance, right? That's what we are talking about today with stop losses in trading. Unlike traditional buy and hold strategies, where investors endure steep declines and long waits for recovery, stop losses are like that magical gadget. They shield you from significant losses and keep you nimble in the market, always ready for the next opportunity. It's a savvy way to manage your investments without the heartache of watching your portfolio plummet. Welcome to Financial Literacy. Here, we are dedicated and passionate about bringing you nothing but honest and straightforward facts about your money. We will help you take control of your finances and get you to the next level. Beginners or experienced, this is your one-stop shop for all things financial literacy. Now, let's dive into a fascinating study from Lund University that pits stop-loss strategies against the buy-and-hold approach. The study explores various stop-loss levels, ranging from conservative 5% to daring 55%. But before we delve into the data, let's explore real-world scenarios where stop-losses could have saved the day. These stories highlight just how crucial these strategies can be. Think of a stop-loss as your emergency exit, a way out when things go south. It's your tool to cut losses early and prevent small setbacks from turning into financial disasters. We'll see how this strategy can transform your trading success compared to the stagnant buy-and-hold method that often leaves investors stuck in unfavorable positions for far too long. Are you ready to safeguard your investments and keep your portfolio thriving? Let's jump right in. Let's dive into the wild world of trading with the twist of practical wisdom. Ever been on a roller coaster where you're not just along for the ride, but you've got a secret safety harness that can whisk you away if things get hairy? That's what stop losses are like in trading. They're your safety harness in the unpredictable market carnival. Now, let me share a real-life trading adventure with Uber Technologies. Imagine I'm sizing up Uber like a detective, looking at charts and company news. I spotted a juicy opportunity when the price broke a stubborn resistance line after weeks of sitting tight. That was my cue. I jumped in with a 13.5% stop loss locked and loaded. Fast forward a bit, and voila, the trade zoomed up, and I locked in a sweet 42% profit. But here's the kicker. If I'd been a buy-and-hold investor instead, I might have seen my gains evaporate into thin air when the stock took a nosedive months later. See? That's the magic of stop losses. They let you secure your gains and dodge potential disasters before they hit. It's like having a superpower in your trading toolkit. Here's another example. Imagine you're out in the wild, eyeing Yeti holdings like a seasoned explorer sizing up a rare beast. You spot an opportunity after a period of stock consolidation and decide to make your move. With a calculated risk, you set a 7.5% stop loss, your safety net in case things go south. Sure enough, the stock takes an unexpected turn, triggering your stop loss and saving you from a potential 53% loss. Ouch! Imagine the agony if that stop loss hadn't been there. It's like having a guardian angel for your investments, swooping in just when you need it most. Now, onto another trading tale with Duke Realty. You spot Duke Realty as it's gearing up for a potential breakout after a period of price consolidation. Feeling optimistic, you jump in with a 5.5% stop loss in place. Just enough to protect your downside if things don't go as planned. Unfortunately, shortly after, the price retraces unexpectedly, hitting your stop loss and causing a small loss. But here's the silver lining. That stop loss prevented further losses that could have snowballed into a bigger headache. It's a classic example of how a strategic exit strategy can turn a potential disaster into a manageable setback. These real-world examples underscore the importance of proactive planning in trading. Whether riding high on profits or navigating downturns, stop losses act as your safety rope in the market's peaks and valleys. Stay tuned as we uncover the winning formula for successful trading, packed with wisdom and a touch of humor. Imagine trading like a race where knowing when to bow out is as crucial as knowing when to push forward. That's our strategy, cutting losses short with stop losses while letting winners run. 
maximizing gains like catching the perfect wave. Now, let's dive into the media research from Lund University. This study isn't just insightful, it's a treasure trove of trading wisdom. Comparing stop-loss strategies to buy and hold using the Stockholm 30 Index, the results are crystal clear. Stop-loss strategies not only deliver superior total returns, but also excel in risk-adjusted gains. It's like trading with a rocket ship instead of a horse and buggy. The study's robust methodology, focusing on different holding periods and stop-loss levels, validates our approach with hard data and real-world results. And imagine enhancing these strategies with technical analysis, potentially turbocharging returns even further. It's like fine-tuning a sleek racing car with added turbo boosters, zooming ahead with precision. Picture a trailing stop loss as your steadfast guide on a hike through a dense forest, adjusting your path to steer clear of pitfalls. It trails behind the market price, locking in profits as it climbs and swiftly exiting when trends reverse. Equity profiles sporting trailing stops around 15% to 20% shine bright, maximizing gains while minimizing risk. Like riding waves at the beach, catching big ones, and bailing before the tide turns. And let's not forget traditional stop losses. Your safety net set at 10% or 15%. These percentages consistently prove effective, shielding your capital from market fluctuations while preserving room for growth opportunities. Now, the big reveal. Which strategy takes the crown? Stay tuned to find out. After comparing both strategies head-to-head, -head, it's clear that the 20% trailing stop emerged as the winner. It's like having the best of both worlds, flexibility to ride the highs and protection from the lows. This strategy not only kept our investments safe, but also allowed them to flourish when the market was in our favor. It's a game changer for anyone looking to navigate the trading jungle with confidence. So, whether you're a seasoned trader or just getting started, remember this. Stop losses aren't just a safety net. They're your secret weapon for thriving in the unpredictable world of trading. Ready to take your trading game to the next level? Let's make waves and ride the tide of success together. Now, it's time to wrap up our exhilarating trading journey with a grand finale. We've navigated through trading strategies with wit and insight. If you're still clinging to outdated buy-and-hold methods, it's time for a strategic shift. Unlike enduring roller coaster rides, buy-and-hold strategies risk losing gains when markets dip, a hot potato you don't want to hold on to. Let's talk about stop losses. We've seen how a 5% trailing stop can be too trigger-happy, often exiting prematurely due to market volatility. In contrast, a strategic 20% trailing stop proves to be the golden ticket, balancing safety with the flexibility to capture substantial gains. It's like finding the perfect wave to ride, staying afloat while others wipe out. But here's the kicker. The Lund University study didn't even factor in technical analysis. Imagine if we combine these solid strategies with a dash of technical know-how. Now that's a recipe for potential trading mastery. Technical analysis could help us fine-tune our entries and exits, possibly boosting our returns even higher. It's like adding turbo boosters to an already sleek racing car. Zoom, zoom! So, take charge of your investments. Embrace a strategic 20% trailing stop, knowing when to hold and when to fold, while keeping your eyes on the prize. Whether you're a seasoned trader or a newcomer, these strategies pave the way to smoother sailing and bigger profits. Thank you so much for joining me on this thrilling trading journey. For more financial insights and updates, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay ahead in mastering your financial future. Until next time, happy trading!